Hey everyone, welcome to Cats Focus and today we are going to talk about rate. Let's get started. Rate. What is rate? The full form of rate is redundant array of independent disks. Originally it was called redundant array of inexpensive disks. Rate is used to provide the high performance, reliability and redundancy. RAID is a way of saving the same data in different places on multiple disks to protect the data in case of any crash. RAID is usually uh, either mirroring or striping or a combination of both. Now before we proceed with what is mirroring, striping and what exactly and what are the RAID levels, let's discuss something very significant which is RAID controllers. Now. RAID controllers are used on the abstraction layer between the hardware and the OS. It works on the abstraction layer. Now, RAID controllers are used uh, to provide the security data safety in case of any crash. How many types of RAID controllers do we have? We have hardware-based RAID controller, software-based RAID controller, and firmware-based RAID controller. Now the hardware based RAID controllers are like PCI cards, it can be onboard, so onboard RAID controllers. Software based RAID controllers, they use the hardware resources or the resources of the hardware system and the performance of the software based uh, RAID controller is much lower than the hardware based RAID controllers because they are dedicated, dedicated hardware part uh, assigned for a particular task. Now, where the even the you know software-based RAID controller is not compatible with the system boot up, or you know somebody cannot buy the hardware-based RAID controller because they are a bit costly. So the third option we have is the firmware-based RAID controller. Firmware-based RAID controller is the RAID controller chip on the motherboard. All the processes are handled by. Uh, the processor and there's a lot of strain on the processor in that case. Initially when system is booting up that chip takes a lead and system boots up but once the uh, system is booted into the OS now the drivers take over. So the firmware based rate controller is also known as the fake rate controller. Now let's talk about the type of rates that we have. There are three level of rates standard, nested and non-standard. In this video, we are going to talk about the rates which are commonly used out there and which are used by the organizations. So, uh, let's talk about a few rate configurations under standard. Rate 0, which is also known as striping. Now, striping is there are two hard disks. Now, the data is written on both the hard disks. It's not mirroring. It's like half of the data is here and here. In continuity, data is written on two hard drives. Now, uh, what happens just in case of uh, disk failure? In case of this disk failure, the RAID controller comes into the picture. Till the time of, uh, you know, uh, till the time they replace the disk, the data here is little vulnerable, but yeah, but the data is there. Once they replace the disk, the data comes back and you have the data available. Now, uh, let's talk about rate 1. Rate 1 is mirroring. Mirroring works in a way that there are two disks. The same data is written on the second disk which is on the first disk. So data is written here and here. Even if this disk goes off, the data is available right there. You have all the time to replace the second disk. Rate 3. Rate 3 is not used much. It's, it's like, you know, the striping with a dedicated disk of parity to check the error and the control. So it's not uh, used much. But next rate that we're going to talk about. Now let's talk about rate 5. Rate 5 requires minimum 3 disks. Here the data is written to a striping mode. The maximum failure that you can afford is only one disk in rate 5 configuration. Now in case of rate 10 it's a nested rate. It's a combination of rate 1 and rate 0. So rate 0 uh, let, let's say minimum disks that we require for rate 10 is 4 1 2 3 4 now what happens that there are two portions rate 
uh, I mean disc 1 and 2 the mirroring is uh, I'm sorry the striping is going on rate 3 and 4 the striping is going on now between these two portions there's a mirroring going on so that's a rate 10 is a combination of rate 1 and rate 0 now in the organizations on the servers where you know they cannot afford to lose the data the data should be available all the time so how do they configure the rate usually they combine few rates in case of rate 5 they combine rate 1 and rate 5 in case of uh, rate 10 they combine rate 1 plus rate 10 so they have this foolproof plan that even if you are going to need the disk replacement somebody is going to take time to replace the disk you have your data available all the time there that's how the rate configuration works so this is my video about the rate configuration rate controllers rate levels and what is rate if you like my video, please leave the comment in the comment section, provide me the feedback, subscribe to my channel and I'll bring more interesting videos for you. Thank you.